percent ratio that compares number to 100. That is how we understand percent, right? If I say something is 10 percent, that means 10 over 100. Something is 5 percent, 5 over 100. Something is P percent, that means P over 100. Now if I say P over 100, that means P percent. If I say N over 100, in general, N percent, right? So we have similar things here and we need to express each percent as a fraction or mixed number in lowest terms. So that is the exercise for you to do, right? Now remember one thing, when we say 20 percent, it means 20 out of 100. So percent is basically a ratio that compares the number to 100. So that is what we understand by percent and this is what we are going to explore and practice here with this particular video. So I will do some of the questions listed here and rest you should copy and do it on your own. So let's do start with 20%. So when we say 20%, that means 20 out of 100. So I can write this as equals to 20 out of 100. So that is kind of a fraction where 100 is the denominator. Now in these questions, we can always use a calculator and then write down the answer. So we'll use the calculator. I know this is very simple. You could also write in. Now, we need to express these percent as a fraction or mixed number in the lowest terms. Remember, when we're trying to represent them as a fraction, there is no need to use calculator. Because calculator normally will give you answers in decimals, not in fraction, right? Second, we are also taking this as an exercise to learn how to write fractions also in Lewis terms or as mixed numbers, right? So that way we'll get command over both the things. Understanding percent, relating them with fractions. So that is the kind of exercise which we are going to do now, okay? So we have 20 over 100. To solve this, you can divide both numerator and denominator by 10. So that is the first thing. When you do that, then you basically cancel out so when you divide by 10, you get 2 over 10, right? Now you see 2 and 10 both are even. So you can divide both by 2. So if you divide by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So you get 1 over 5. So 20% can be written as 20 over 100. That is the first part. And the second part is writing it in a fraction and lowest terms. So that becomes 1 over 5. So that is the second part, right? So both are our answers for this particular question. Since the question is express each percent as a fraction or a mixed number in lowest terms, we are writing in fractions, not in decimals, okay? So when you do this exercise, remember not to use your calculator, right? Or do not write answers with decimal numbers. Write answers in fractions or mixed numbers as the case may be, right? Now let's go through the next one, which is 55%. So when we say 55%, we mean 55 over 100, right? Now that is how we write it as a percent, P over 100, 55%. Now can you simplify it? Yes, we can divide both by 5. So if you divide both by 5, what do you get? 55 divided by 5 is 11, and 100 divided by 5 is 20, correct? So you can do that. 11 over 20. This is a proper fraction, no more common factors, so that is fraction in lowest terms, correct? Let's do one more, and that is 0.5 percent. Here we we'll write 0.5 over 100. Now, whenever we are trying to write it in fractions, we don't want decimals there, correct? So to get rid of this decimal, we should first multiply by 10. When we multiply by 10, decimal moves one unit to the right. It is 5 tenths. It becomes 5 wholes. So let's multiply by 10 and then we get 5 over 1000, right? This is because we multiplied both by 10. So we did it 10 times, right? 10 times. Why? To get rid of this decimal. Now we have 5 over 1000. Both can be divided by 5. So let's divide them by 5, both, right? We'll divide both by 5. When we do that, what do we get? We get 5 divided by 5 as 1, 
and 1000 divided by 5, 5 was 2 times in 10 and then 100. So we get 1 over 200. That is the answer. Do you see that? One more. And this is kind of very different from what we have done. 0 0.08 this time. So help me out. 0 0.08. 0 0.08. That is the number over 100 since it is percent. Percent means whatever the number is over 100. It is a ratio of that number with 100. Now as we did here this time, what should you multiply by? We need to put the decimal after two places. That means times it with 100, correct? When you times it with 100, you get 8, right, on the top and the denominator will be four zeros, two already there for 100, 100, 100. Do you see that? 100, 100, correct? Now, you can divide this by common factor. 4 is a common factor. So 4 goes 2 times in 10, in 8, 4 times 2 is 8. So what I'm doing now is divide by 4. And when you divide this by 4, so 100, there are 4 quarters, 2,500. Do you see that? So we get 2, 2,500. That is what you get in the denominator. Now still, you have 2 as a common factor. You can still divide by 2. So let's do divide by 2 further. So at times, you may not divide by the highest common factor, right? In that case, what we will do is, we will go repeated division. So let's divide it again by 2. So when you do that, you get 1 out of half of this, 1250, right? 1250. So we got now fraction in the lowest terms. Well, all these were proper fractions. Now we'll take up one example, which is improper fraction. It is 160%. Now, 160% is 160 over 100. Now, 160, I'll show you a technique of how we can write this as a mixed fraction. We can think about it like 100 plus 60. Do you see? 100 plus 60 is 160. Do you see that? Divide by 100. Now, 100 over 100 is one whole. So, I can write this as one whole and then 60 over 100. So that is a simple way of splitting your number into hundreds and leftover. So that we get a mixed number, 160 over 100, correct? Now you can apply the techniques learned earlier to simplify, right? So we can now write this as 1 over, now I can divide by 10 these two numbers, so I get 6 over 10, is that okay? Still, there is a common factor of 2. So I can write this as 1 and 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 10 divided by 2 is 5. 1, 3 over 5. All these are equivalent fractions of 160%. Now since 160 is more than 100, you get improper fraction which could be converted to a mixed number. 1 whole 3 over 5 means 160%. Do you get it? Now these three are for you to do. So 360% as you can see is more than 100. Right? It will be kind of like this. Three holes and then 60%. 60 over 10 which could be written as 3 over 5. 1.25% is kind of a smaller number. right? But it has both things. It has at two decimal places also. And 0 0.02 is similar to 0 0.08. So I'd like you to copy these questions, answer them. So what we learned here is how to write percent as a ratio. Ratio of number 200. That is what percent is. So we are basically working on this definition. Right? So once you understand that, you are ready to do questions on percent. Now, most of the time, we can use calculator to get the answer. But at times, we need to write down answer as fractions or mixed numbers. So that is another exercise which we have done in this video. Learning how to write percent in the lowest terms of fractions. So that is repeated division. So 20% for example is 20 over 100. 
you first divide by 10, right? So first you divide by 10, both the things. Then you get 2 over 10. And then you divide by 2. So you could do it in steps, correct? And then you get 1 over 5. Now there's nothing common between numerator and denominator. So this is the lowest term. That's the philosophy. Here, we first divide it by 5, correct? Both numerator and denominator and got equivalent fraction 11 over 20. Now in 11 and 20, there is no more common factor. Therefore, this is the lowest term. These two were kind of different. Here, in the numerator, we had a decimal, but we don't need decimal. So first we multiply to make them a whole number, correct? So we multiplied 0 0.5 by 10, 0 0.08 by 100 to make them whole numbers. And then we simplified. So sometimes you may have to do that also. But that is the variety of things which you need to learn when you are dealing with such questions. And I hope it serves the purpose. I hope you share with your friends all these ideas and appreciate them. Thank you. All the best.